Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got mail. Santee, how about doing a video about the underwear of the West? Union suits and all. Mustang. Mustang. Okay, okay, don't get your panties in a knot. See what I did there? I know, right? Undergarments in the Wild West were not as wild as ours today. Bikini briefs, boxers, thongs, underoos. Those would shock Victorians so much they'd probably shoot you in a state of panic. Well, maybe not. The 19th century word pants actually has its origins in underwear. Pants are short for pantaloons or pantalones, which was a character in a comedic play who wore his lower garments down to his ankles. Incidentally, not the norm in his era. Thou lookest ridiculous. Well, it set the stage for Britain to shorten it to pants, which came to mean long drawers that covered the whole leg. The garments worn over them became known as trousers. I know. Mind-blowing, right? Sorcery. The term drawers was coined because of the way these garments were drawn on. What's the matter with you? I ain't running around the middle of the night in my drawers. For men, the union suit, long handles, or long johns were very common. They were a one-piece flannel suit that buttoned up the front. Many times it had a trap door in the back so you wouldn't have to strip off the whole outfit to do your, uh, business. This was either a button flap or just a vertical slot like the women had. One brand you might be familiar with is Fruit of the Loom, who have been making undies since 1851. I'm going Comanche. Now, women had it a little different. They wore a chemise on top and drawers on the bottom. These were typically thin materials since there were a few more layers to complete the whole outfit. Kate, you're not wearing a bustle. Cactus Rose, otherwise known as Shirley Hobbs, commented, linen undergarments would have been for the upper class as linen cost more and was finer than cotton. Another word for women's drawers was bloomers, named after Amelia Bloomer when she promoted some new loose-fitting lower body garments around 1849. Now, do folks doing reenactment or living history wear historical undergarments? Yes, some of them do, especially the women. But as for the men on this movie shoot, well, let's investigate. I'm here with Eddie Perez and Glenn Gold. How you doing, Glenn? All right. Yeah, what kind of underwear are you wearing? Long John. Okay. What kind of underwear are you wearing today? Vidal Sassoon. What? Vidal Sassoon made his underwear? Darn straight. Hey, Grub. Hey, good morning, Shanty. How you doing there? Good. Uh, <laughs> what kind of underwear are you wearing? Yeah, you want to know about my girdle? What? Yeah, I got a girdle. Boy, them shins Man, they just poking my ribs and everything there. <laughs> Okay. Dirty Dan. Yes, sir. Can you please tell me what kind of underwear you're wearing today? Underoos. You know, the ones with the pocket in the front for your cell phone? I see. Okay. I'm here with John Floyd. Hey, everyone. John. Yes, sir. What kind of underwear are you wearing? I am, uh, I am a uh, boxer brief kind of guy. Boxer briefs? Yeah. How about okay. yourself? I'm not telling. Well, I hope you all learned something about undergarments in the Old West. Incidentally, I'm wearing BVDs, which have been around since 1876. The, the company, not my BVDs, because that'd be weird. So, anyway, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on down the trail.